Welcome to today's video. What are the first steps of retirement planning? It is important that we set up our plan for retirement so that we can actually retire one day. So today I am sharing the exact steps to take in order to plan for your retirement. Let's dive right in. All right, I know it can be overwhelming to plan for your retirement, but honestly, I'm going to break it down into what are the first steps of retirement planning so that you can take these exact steps and have your retirement plan laid out. First, I just want to set up the picture for us. We want to make sure that we have our spending plan set up, that we know what's coming in and what is going out. We want to make sure that we have an emergency fund set up and that we have that emergency fund in a high yield savings account so we can earn a little bit more interest on our money that is just sitting in cash. And then we want to make sure that we have our high interest debt paid off. That is going to make a big difference in growing our wealth because we don't want to be paying more in interest in that high credit card debt interest than we can make in our investments. And that way we can take the steps to invest in order to be able to retire. The first thing we want to do is to set our retirement goal. How much do we want to have invested in order to retire? And I do go into more detail about this in another video. I will leave a link above, but essentially we want to take our annual expenses in retirement, multiply that by the number 25, and that is the amount we want to have invested in order to retire. So that would be our retirement goal the amount we want to have invested. To give you an example, if your annual expenses are $40,000, you multiply that by 25, you would get $1 million. So we would want $1 million invested in order to retire. I know when I figured this number out, I was super excited because I had no idea how much it was going to take to retire. Would it be a million? Would it be 2 million? Would it be 3 million? Could it be 500,000? I had no idea, but I found this formula and that is what I have used to help me know exactly how much I would need to retire. Comment below and tell me if you have your financial freedom number or your retirement number. And then going along with this, we are going to move to step two and that's to know what our expenses will be in retirement or have at least a good estimate. We want to consider all of the different expenses we will have, and it could be comparable to our expenses right now, but perhaps we have a mortgage payment that we are going to have paid off by the time we retire, or perhaps we have an auto loan that will also be paid off by the time we retire. But also when we are older, we probably will increase our healthcare expenses, but maybe we are not going to be traveling as much. So get a good estimate on the expenses you would have during retirement. This way you can more accurately calculate your retirement number. And then going back to that retirement number, step three is to figure out that retirement income. So I know we figured out our end goal, but in doing so, we actually figured out what our monthly income would be because we are able to withdraw 4% of our money every single year, which is adjusted for inflation, and that would be the amount we would be living off of. So make sure you are comfortable with that amount. If you think you're going to spend a lot more than that amount, then you may need to invest even more money. Or maybe you're thinking, ah, oh, there's no way I'm going to spend that much in retirement. So you could reduce that amount, but just feel comfortable with that amount that you would be withdrawing every single year. And for me personally, since I am officially retired, even though I have this business that I work on, but retirement means something different to everyone. It could just mean that you're lounging on the beach and just playing all day and not doing any kind of productive work. Or it could mean that you do start a side business or a side hustle or have a part-time job. It's up to you how you define retirement. But however you define that, make sure you feel comfortable with your numbers. And then step number five, and this one is really important, we want to maximize those retirement contributions. We want to be investing as much money as possible as soon as possible so that we can take advantage of compound interest. The more money we invest now, the more money we are going to have later. And that's not to say you need to be sacrificing everything right now so that you can have so much money in retirement. We need to still be enjoying life right now and doing the things that we want to be doing. But sometimes there are some short-term sacrifices we can make to increase that long-term happiness. For example, I did a lot of traveling in my 20s and 30s, and I really enjoyed that. 
but I wasn't being extravagant about my traveling. I wasn't traveling first class. I was traveling within my budget, within whatever amount I had already in my savings account. I've never paid credit card interest. I don't believe in that. So I would put the expense on my credit card, but I would pay it off before I was getting charged any interest. So I was still living within my means, but I was spending money on things that brought me joy, that brought me lasting happiness, and tried not to spend as much on the instant gratification things that I would just forget about in a week or two. And yes, I did do that before I figured out this whole financial freedom process. I did spend a lot of money on clothing and looking back, I could have put a lot of that money toward investing had I have known what I know now. Hence why I am sharing this information with you now so that you can get started right now. One thing that I did do during my 20s and 30s while I had a nine to five job though, was invest in my 401k. I invested at least up to my employer match. So I am really glad that I did that step at least. And then I also, in my 30s, I should have done it in my 20s, but in my 30s, I opened up my own investment accounts and started investing in those accounts as well. And I also started investing in real estate. I did buy my first property when I was 25, but I didn't buy my second property until 10 years later. And then I bought a couple more after that. And if I could go back, I would definitely invest more in the stock market and more in real estate. But of course I can't go back, so I just try to continue to improve over time. I am glad that I did make the investments in the stock market and in real estate when I did, and I didn't do it any later. If you're interested in investing in the stock market and you want my help, I have a free message Masterclass going over how I can help you invest in the stock market. I will leave a link below in the description. You can click on that link and watch the free masterclass. And then number six on the steps to retirement planning is to make sure and minimize our risk. There are a lot of risks with investing. We want to make sure that we are taking calculated risks. We still don't want to be just leaving all of our money in a savings account. We want to invest that money, but we don't want to be super risky and not be able to sleep at night. So we want to make sure we are taking a calculated risk. So we can definitely invest our money in stocks in an index fund that has a whole bunch of stocks inside of it. It's a very easy way to diversify and minimize our risk, but still have enough risk that we are getting a high return. And then when we are in retirement, we can continue to reduce that risk to where we feel comfortable. So we could switch some of our stock investments over to bond investments and that will help to preserve our wealth. So these are the first steps of retirement planning. Comment below and tell me when you want to retire. I'm curious to know. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and share it with someone else who would like to hear this information and hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the little bell to get notified on when I post new videos. And if you want to see even more content from me, make sure and check out the videos on the side of the screen. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.